Okay, I'm I'm live again. Nobody's watching or what? Nobody's tuning in here at the beginning of the show where I smoke my cigarette, you know. <laughs> but I'm glad I made it in time. Boy, that was a crazy day. I was shooting tutorials all day long. All right, all right, now I can see you guys. Oh, man, there's money coming in, money coming in. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> King Robert is in the house. Don't you mean the Slipcut Force? Greeting from Hussein, Thailand. King Robert, that's amazing. And Akuma Snow, hey, Art Maris, I'll be in and out because I'm at work, but I tried to tune in. Awesome, whatever works, baby. So that, let's get this thing started here in a second, guys. And King, I'm getting back to your answer ASAP, right? Just give me one more second here. Mario's magic. Like and subscribe. Well, hey there, boys and girls. I just skipped the trailer. <laughs> Can you believe that? Doesn't matter. You know who I am. You know what we do. My name is Ad Mario's, and we're back on another card magic live practice jam session here today on this very channel. Great you're tuning in. I don't know what's going on. I see you there in the chat, but I don't see you uh, there up in the chat box. That that's weird. Uh, that that's now doesn't work. The technical issues. Uh, I I want to fix this later. Maybe not now. Just let me let me uh, hook you up and answer the question by King Robert. King is asking, do you mean the slip cut force? It is known also as the slip cut force, but we're doing here a walk through through the Royal Road to Card Magic, and there is uh, a, 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 it's called uh, the back slip. And we got the force and we got a control coming with it, baby. Um, now I'm I'm not so I'm not so tight on, on names with slides and stuff uh, because uh, I don't care. <laughs> and um, it, it's uh, it's a specific basic technique, and I believe there are a thousands different variations of the same basic principle um, out there. And you know, it's just true. Uh, whatever slide or whatever cut technique handling uh, we're dealing with we gotta um make this work in our own hands so um probably everybody comes up with their own tiny little variations to make a specific thing work and um yeah i don't know what's happening here because um i don't see anything in the right chat box here um something it's not how it's supposed to be um this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the setup very quickly here um sorry 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 for that um, uh, I, I popped this one out. Um, now there is everybody. I have to copy uh, this thing. Then I have to go here. And I, I, I t t sorry guys, uh, sorry guys. I got. I just gotta get this working. Give me a second. All right. And then this is uh, this is done. And then I gotta do this another time. Uh, right here. Look at uh, look at this. This is uh, now an OBS tutorial, basically. Uh, uh, basically, um, and I'm back. And there is there is the chat. Now, how may I, how 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 fast did I do this? Took me just took me just 30 seconds or something. Now let me place the whole thing here on my monitor so that I, I can I can work this here. You know that that's it. That 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 that's it. And then I bring my browser up, my beautiful Brave browser, and, we, and we're good to go. Um, so, um, Naira Smith in the house. Hi at all. Um, hi, Naira Smith. Uh, awesome you tuning in. Cabalat is in the house. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. That's right. Um, Flying Wee's in the house. Hi, how are you all doing? Hi, Flying Wee. That's great. And then there's Soma Rashad. Can you teach us great tricks? Uh, of course, because we're doing a walk through the Royal Road to Card Magic. And as a matter of a a fact, in this very chapter, there are three so awesome uh, tricks 
And、um, I started my day by reading this chapter with a, a cup of coffee、uh, in my bed.、Um, and maybe that's、uh, too much information, but, but it's true. And I, I really couldn't stop laughing about the premise and the tone of especially the last trick. Um, this is just、uh, magic as its finest.、Uh, more like the, the, the、uh, performance approach here, uh, which, uh, which uh, got me very excited. We're going to talk about this. As,、uh, I, I will not, I will not、um, talk so much about the, the slides here, so much in detail, because as I said, I shot some tutorials today and also、uh, a tutorial on this very、uh, move and my variation on it. And it's going to be airing on Saturday, this,、uh, this coming, coming Saturday. So I will just uh, uh, take a、uh, brief look at the handling and then、uh, we will go right there into the tricks. And Mike、uh, Fenwick writes, hey all. So, King Robert, this is,、um, uh, this, um, this is very close.、Um, There might be variations, but it's basically the same thing, I, I wonder. Now,、um, let, me, um, let me give you a little update on the channel、um, because,、um, yeah, to yesterday and today I've been shooting like crazy. I've maxed out uh, my uh, environment here, I maxed out my workflow.、Um, I, I managed now to shoot very、um, short tutorials. It's a new series coming up on my channel. I call them fast paced tutor tutorials, highlighting the keynotes.、Um, and I managed to shoot, I don't know,、um, eight or ten tutorials in two days. Also, already edited five of those, and、um, they, they're coming now.、Um, just to up my average percentage views. Because the average per percentage view time dropped since I'm doing these long live streams with you guys.、Um, and、um, this is just my countermeasure on that. Talked about this in the last stream. By the way, all the、uh, links and、uh, infos you need, you will find in the info cards of the video and also in the info box of the video. And then uh, um, um, I want to also.、Um, Uh, give a little、uh, shout out uh, uh, one more time here to Richard Ballers、um, because、uh, the other day I, I was thinking, you know what, I, I'm tuning in on Richard's channel and seeing what he's got there. And then I found a very, very, very cool、uh, video of his card work. And、um, man, the guy really knows, uh, knows uh, to handle playing cards.、Um, it's also there in the info box. It's called,、uh, the, the clip is called Instagram,、um, Instagram Magic. <laughs> And、um, I totally got excited about it, so I wrote a comment, you know, to,、um, to give him some credit,、uh, to give him some love. Said, Matt, dude, you just blew my mind. Super amazing. And he responded with a link to a tutorial on the very moves I was so excited about. So I was um, uh, studying um, uh, the Bertram color change and、um, crazy、uh, double lift top shots and, and absolutely, absolutely crazy slide of hand、uh, card stuff. Gave me a blast of a time, and maybe we're gonna, we're gonna do a session. Or maybe even with、uh, Richard together、uh, at one point going into this material. That's that. And there is another thing、um, I want to share with you guys before we really get started here with the Royal Road to Card Magic with the backslip force and、um, uh, control and the tricks in the book. Flying We. Sent me a deck of cards, and this dude got really an attitude because he sent me a signed version. <laughs> That's the attitude, my boy. <laughs> Just send out signed sign signatures of yourself, you know. You're gonna be big one day, I promise. <laughs> and、um, he also、uh, wrote a little letter,、uh, which is very nice. Man, I, I, this really made my day. I, I don't know, I don't even know when I, when I received a letter. Ever <laughs> in my life. So,、um, so we're getting really emotional here, you know.、Uh, <laughs> um, thank you for the kind words and、um, thank you for, yeah, for, this,、um, for this nice deck of playing cards. Now, story,、uh, long story short, he's、uh, befriended with some,、uh, someone who's working at Kata Mundi and、um, they talked about magic, they talked about my channel or something. And,、um, uh, and, and now, now、um, uh, they're curious、uh, what, what my, what's my take on these cards. Now, as I crack them open, And、um, I've got to do this here with, with, with、uh, a knife. Because the、uh, first thing,、uh, they don't、uh, have、uh, something to pivot the card, cards off here at the side.、Um, I don't know anything about these cards. Yeah? Nothing. Nada. And、um, so I Googled them. 
<laughs> um, of course, uh, re respectively, I searched uh, them uh, on YouTube, and guess and guess what happened when I when you search uh, playing cards on YouTube. So here, by the way, I managed to crack this open without ruin ruining this this little um, beautiful personal touch of the cards. Thank you so much, Flying V. Um, so I I googled, um, I, I I searched, uh, looked them up on YouTube, and, uh, and check out what's happening. Um, what's happening right yeah there is Chris Ramsey right there on the top <laughs> dude this guy is everywhere this is this is getting annoying <laughs> okay maybe there's a little envy in there but anyways uh, um, Chris is asking the question are these playing cards the next big thing so now I'm super hyped also I um, checked out uh, Kata Mundi um, which is, seems to be a very uh, a big uh, a company for um, playing cards and, and uh, stuff and um, they say here quality uh, high quality PVC poker cards founded over 100 years ago Copac is a pioneer in the production of playing cards for the Brazilian market and is now among the largest companies in the world operating in this segment uh, in 2005 the Katamundi group did uh, ac uh, ac acquire 50% of the company mm, okay what's happening there and if you go to the uh, uh, Copac um, um, site here, there we have um, uh, the babies here, Copac 300 310 and uh, this is how it reads Copac 310 was developed closely with professional players magicians and cardistry experts over two years the exclusive true line b9 finish associated with the premium playing card stock ensures supreme handling long longevity long longevity and uh, the ultimate flourish this finish is the result of intense research and development and more than 300 prototypes tried and tested the well constructed balance between the stock coating line finish and cutting gives the cards a soft but springy nature allowing smooth handle deck includes 50 die cards two jokers one double back and a blank face poker in size 2.5 by 3.5 inches like and this is as technical and, and basically this is as technical as it gets with playing cards right now now I'm hyped now I want to know what these suckers can do so um, before we uh, before I do that let's go let's see what's uh, happening in the chat so we got um, um, Soma Rashid coming can you teach uh, uh, us back palm uh, vanish yeah but not now a different time um, Katamonti just bought the used playing card company dickhead it is back in the house. Uh, I mean, Deckard. I'm so sorry. No, this was not. This was. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to. We had this. I call you just. I just call you. Um, just hat, right? Because I'm going. I'm. I'm. I'm like that. Okay. Now I got it in my head, and now I'm like that. Cataman just bought a used playing card. Is that? Is that true? Is that true? Because that's. That's crazy. Okay. And Naira Smith confirms the information. Wow. Wow. Big news in the playing cards uh, industry. Does this affect us? Does this mean is, are now um, are uh, uh, is the USPCC now not producing great playing cards anymore? Uh, or that, uh, that doesn't mean something good. I don't know. I don't know. Flying V, my friend said that a lot of custom orders ask for the B9 finish. Shinlim's uh, regalias are printed on the, uh, that stock. So okay, okay. So we are now we are starting this live stream here with this. Uh, completely um card nerd talk so i'm opening them up and um now they come in sealed in the in the in the pack which um uh, which uh which annoys me <laughs> uh, because um i mean i believe it's a good thing i believe it's a good thing especially for region regions with a high um uh, not room temperature with uh, with how how do you say this um, Luftfeuchtigkeit. You know when the air is full of um, uh, moist. Uh, how is it called Luftfeuchtigkeit? I, I'm not going to look it up. You know what I mean. You know, and then cards tend to you know lose their um, their feel very quickly. So I guess that's that's a reason for them. Now, got the cards in the hand, and now um, giving them the smell test. Smell test. Uh, sm uh, smells um, smells high quality, but a little artificial. I don't know. Very strong smell. Okay. So now, uh, first thing I do with all the cards is how do they fan? There's nothing, nothing to to worry about. These cards here right now, they fan very, <laughs> very well. Now let's give them a little dribble here. Dribbles absolutely well. Dribbles absolutely well. Now I just took the cards out feels absolutely good in my hands now I give them a spring but 
Yeah, that's normal. Uh, this is uh, it's also a very good feeling. Right there from the start, I'm able to give them a good spring. Will not take me a long time to get them uh, really working for me. Now let's let's go here. Let's let's first of all take a look at what we got the cards. Now mm, here's my double backer. Here's my uh, blank card, and then I got um, I would say kind of standard core cards. They do differ. Um, and you may immediately notice this from the um, standard use PCC. What I know, and then we got this Joker which um which is yeah it's not my piece of cake but uh, hey who cares and then we got an ass an ace uh which is uh, extremely simplistic so this is a deck of cards um um which already feels good in my hands and which is from the from the from the design also from the back design very innocent okay if you bring this out for layman they will not question these cards you know uh, they, they are just cards they uh, they would uh, they know from their poker set or they know from from their little experiences with cards humidity deckhead thank you so much deckhead um, i i see you are not mad about me um pulling off this dumbass joke uh, you're sniffing underwear now. No, not underwear, King. That is not underwear. You're not following. So, and as you can see here, the table riffle works really nice as well. Yes, um, I think this is a nice um, deck of cards. Thank you so much, Flying Wee. Thank you so much, Flying Wee. So, that didn't work so well because, of course, they are brand new. Uh, slippery so let's let's give them another enhanced riffle boo, 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 very slowly yes 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 this this, this. I'm I'm uh, I'm okay with these um, I'm, I'm okay with these um, just uh, palming a card here works also really nice evil bunny is in the house and saying hello hello evil bunny yeah swing card that that's nice man I like these cards I like these cards yeah but let's compare them to pretty I just I just open up these these bees just to give a comparison Sm smells better man smells better um, would I prefer the bees over this one little test now this is already broken in and I'm using these a lot lately so this is a, a new feel here yeah doesn't matter of course I, I would now um, if I go out now I would grab my, my B or, or a, a, a bicycle or, or some telly hose but this is a def definitely a deck um, and the price is really reasonable here this a deck like this is um, they say here on the website three dollar ninety nine um, hell yeah hell yeah okay some overhead shuffling here and um, some some deals some deals yes yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good I'm good with the cards I'm good 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 once again flying we thank you so much for this deck of cards rocking awesome you are amazing all right then um let's see what's happening in the chat oh um you're sniffing on the water hello my is um, why are no beard tonight um I'm, I'm drinking a, a, a wine uh, shawler um yeah water with wine Um, so Flying V says, yeah, they were slippery at first, but that's that's usually the case with with, with a, a new deck of cards, yeah. And King Robert is a, a kind of, you know, you're not reading my comments. I, I did, I read your comments. Chill out, brother. Love your channel, sir. I appreciate all you do. Thank you, Evil uh, Bunny. Thank you so much for the compliments. All right, guys, let's um, let's let's talk about um, the uh, slip card or back slip for us right now. I like the Copax, but they take a bit of getting used to. I'm used to the rough edges of the bikes. They're, there's a nice alternative. Yeah, but th these edges, yeah, they're smooth. That's true. What are these ed edges? Ah, it's interesting. Ooh. Anyways, so uh, let's go to, to the car table and um, let's let's uh, check this out. Um, well, this a slip card for a basic principle here is, is that we, 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 you cut the cards like uh, opening like the pages of the book, swinging them to the side, and then you slip the 
top card with the tips of your uh, middle and ring finger off the top portion and have it drop onto the um, lower portion. And with this, obviously, you can create um, a force, uh, whatever, what, what, what we got here on top here, two of diamonds. Um, so we have a spectator stop anywhere, and then we have uh, him select the card out of the set of the deck. Now, there are different versions out, uh, out uh, there. I said it before. And um, you see this most of the time done like this with a with a little with a little um, tapping on uh, the cards, which justifies this tapping justifies um, this uh, this side swing motion here, and also this larger motion covers the smaller motion of the of the card um, um, slipping or falling onto the onto onto the lower package. Now you gotta practice this a little bit here. This is a timing thing if you wanna work with this uh, situation. This is nothing uh, I really recommend with your hands um, uh, totally burning with a camera. This is something that, that definitely works with spectators in a live performance situation. Now don't definitely, whatever you do, don't do it like this. Uh, don't um, uh, swing the left package to the side to give it cover with the palm of your hand um, because a spectator expects in this situation, uh, the natural expectation would be the package is separated like this, right? And uh, now, y now you go like this, this is awkward, right? And if you do this then extra fast because you, you don't want to flash, so you have a spectator say, like the card, say stop right here, and then you go, ah, <laughs> there's your card. That even if you don't flash, this, this will uh, arouse suspicion by your uh, um, onlookers and the force is ruined up to that point. Now I've, I have a little, uh, um, I did a little work on this uh, this one. I'm not saying that th this is something I um, invented or, or that nobody did this before me, but I just figured this out myself. So what I like to do, and because I'm sitting here at the table, this is something for stand-up situations. I can't really uh, pull pull the move off in in in, in its uh, its really relaxed form. Um, but what I do um, when I um, swing up the package, I I open both hands. I, uh, I um, lift up both hands and as I go down with both hands I move f a little bit faster with, with, with my lower hand and a little bit forward with my right hand which creates this situation uh, somewhat and then I swing it uh, and then it's, uh, then I swing it uh, to swing it to the sides again something like this and if I do the standing I come wait where am I I come I come I come from this uh, situation then I, I get get here a good grip of the card and then I come around like this um, and then I show the uh, show the card and this gives me a lot of cover and this also gets me really close to this um, to this moment where these both hands are simply just separated from another just like like you they would if you would just lift them up right so this is my take on the on the on the slip cut force or a back slip force um it's a very nice one if this um gives you trouble there's a very nice alternative here we got a seven of hearts on top of the deck um which looks from a um spectator's point of view um very much the same i guess i lost the seven here i give it a try anyway so we have a spectator riffle on the cards and then we no I, I lost it i lost it one more time what we got on top so we got the ace of diamonds and yeah these cards are very slippery so that's why i lost it catching the break here and that's the secret you catch a break and then you have the spectator say you stop anywhere and then you present the card and uh, and and <laughs> it didn't work once again let me do this one more time I just don't catch the break here because of uh, the slippery of the cards. Here we go, stop, and then to the break, and now I hope it's the card. Seven of spades, right. <laughs> and this is a very nice alternative to the slip cut force. It, it j looks just the same from a spectator's point of view, um, but you can get this lifting up motion so much cleaner. However, you need to um, uh, know how to catch a... Um, uh, how to uh, injock a card shuffling and then how to catch a pinky break but this is uh, you know stuff um, you should need to know anyways or learn uh, anyways um, it's coming up in Royal Road to Card Magic and I've got a whole tutorial series up and running on this uh, on the, on card control with um, with a, with catching a break uh, by using an injock or jogging techniques um, by the way my channel 
uh, looks uh, something like this. Let me let me show you. For everybody tuning in new, right now we got um, we got 11 people uh, watching. Welcome everybody. That's awesome you're tuning in. So this is my channel. Um, I got here the live streams. I got tutorials. Uh, uh, magic trick performances tutorials i got them organized in tutorial series so there's a lot of material covered on my channel um feel free to to, to tune in there and check it out and uh, i just wanted to show you the community tab here actually um so we're now on the community tab of my youtube channel because um i did some some polls and 77 uh, percent of 13 votes say that they prefer the dark theme uh, <laughs> um on youtube um, which I thought was kind. Yeah, it's I'm the same with me. And then, and that's why I actually opened the uh, the tab. But uh, that that's uh, that's that here. We have now a Discord server for our tiny cozy community. Um, I figured this out together with uh, Nairo Smith, I believe. And um, yeah, um, ch 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 check in there and um, go and chat together if uh, if you if you. Um, if you want it and i'm there also sometimes and then we can just have a chat um this this link is i believe uh, open uh open it's not it's not gonna waste or something now then i, I went for another poll uh, where i uh, wrote um, there are a lot of complaints about youtube um out there these days content id system abuse false positive channel shutdowns bad communication if at all and bias suggestions seem to be constant various of creators but how is the user experience actually so uh, seriously asked how is your experience and then um 50 percent of 16 votes said looks just the same to me so um the changes youtube uh, uh, has been undergoing uh, since 2017 50 percent of the things people that, that doesn't seem to to, to be noticed <laughs> and then there is uh, pretty much uh, um uh, the the rest uh, split in, in uh, a negative um, experience and a positive experience. So 25% uh, said fantastic. I find what I search. I get suggested what I like. 12% um, said disastrous. Where's all the good stuff? And 12% said it's so bad. I want to marry a Susan. <laughs> little little fun. So. Uh, 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 Discord server, little polls, uh, my channel page. I wanted to um, tease that to you guys. Let's get back to the card, card table here, and let's see who's uh, who's with me. Ten current viewers. Um, Fienchen schreibt: Grüß dich, Otmarius. Bin immer wieder überrascht von deiner Vielseitigkeit. Viel Erfolg heute Abend. Fienchen, vielen lieben Dank für diese netten Worte. Uh, um, this is uh, this is my mother. <laughs> okay, that's funny. So, 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 mommy is watching and, uh, and, the, and everybody else is watching, you know, stay in good, positive relations with the people you love and you will have, have a better life. Yeah. That's my philosophy. Anyways. Um, 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 and now of course the control, the control comes with the same, um, issues, uh, like the, like the force, right? Um, so, um, you got to kind of justify this thing. Now the Royal Road uh, uh, to Card who got in Brouet, they suggest that you have the card um, placed there in the position and then slip cut the card over there, right? What I just did. And then they say you um, put it um, there in the pack and then you give this package with the spectator's card in their hands to have it shuffle and then you shuffle yourself the cards what wood card was it the seven of spades right again so you shuffle the cards they shuffle the cards you give it a, um, a little run um, to the um, bottom to the top they give you the cards back you place your pack on top of there you give it a final cut maybe and then the seven of spades is on top, which is impossible. Um, here's a little note to the um, to the slip cut force because um, to give uh, uh, to give it a little more justification. So um, you have a card selected, you show it, or you have a spectator place it there, and then I would um, tip on there, leave it there for rest, and I would say, look, I'm going to place your card right now into the fan. And there you go, please shuffle the cards and then you shuffle or cut the cards and then we're in the same situation. The, the selection is controlled on top of the deck. Um, 
very very it comes with a lot of applications you see this uh, immediately um th this is something um you definitely want to want to have in your repertoire because it is uh it is for what it well, for what it uh, gets you into for what it enables you to do um relatively easy uh so very nice thing here right there in the in the in the center in the middle of that Book, the Royal Road to Card Magic by Jean, Jean Hugard and Frederick Perret, I believe first published in 1948. And then it was published um, uh, by, uh, by the World Published Press in 1951. And uh, then it went public domain because um, of copyright stuff um, on the US market and then it was reprinted by Dover so it's a um, it's a publishing house that uh, um, specialized on, on printing uh, public domain stuff they keep a lot of great work of art of literature of science and um, specific literature like card magic um, um, available for a, for a decent price so I, I love this publishing house anyways we talked about the force, we talked about the control. And now let's get into the tricks. What do you say? Do you want to get into the tricks? What's up in the chats here? So King Robert is, uh, is uh, what is going on with you, King? You say, since you're not reading my comments, I, would, uh, I, I said, isn't a slip some kind of ladies underwear for the third time? <gasps> okay, uh, I didn't get the joke, King, relax, you know, it's, uh, relax. <laughs> <laughs> Honey Badger Strengthen and Conditioning writes, Good evening, guten Abend. Honey Badger Strengthen, welcome back to the show. Um, and by the way, um, if I don't read your comments or if I don't respond to them, um, I'm, it's just I'm in my own mind flow. I'm trying to present a, a reasonable a train of thoughts. I'm also reading from the book or paraphrasing from a book, teaching you sleight of hand, and all of this takes you know brain capacity, okay? And especially if you guys uh, go up and fast in the chat, you know, I sometimes I miss miss a line, okay? Don't so that, so so keep it keep it keep it calm, okay? Don't you worry. Everybody's welcome. Everybody. Uh, is uh, invited to have a great time. Ah, oh, lightning card. Now we are getting really teased with this trick. Um, who got a brace starting here was saying that that you uh, that, that you um, hardly find a trick that's as entertaining as this one. Um, so how ha, how is the synopsis here? How did I do this? What was it? Take a step back, ask someone to a small number, like in five hundred fifty. I don't remember. Holding the pack on right and facing the spectator. Cut away the arm. Next up to top corner. Ah, yeah, right, 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 right. Riffle the upper portion of S. So, we, um, um, uh, we have a spectator shuffle a deck of cards, right? We have a spectator shuffle a deck of cards. Um, and then we ask the spectator, and then we go through the cards and we ask the spectator to think between a number between 15, uh, between 5 and 15. Larger than 5, larger than 5 and uh, smaller than 15. It's a long trick. Um, we'll keep this one brief, right? And so I hold the pack upright and facing the spectator. Thumb card from the left into the right without reversing their order, counting them aloud. Have the spectator remember the card which falls on his number. So we go through, we say one, two, three, four, five. From now on, you might memorize a card, right? Not you now, because <laughs> we, so we say, we say, we take the seven of hearts. So five, six, seven. Where's the seven of hearts? Did I see the seven of hearts? Eight, nine. What's that? Double backer. Ten. Okay, we take the ten cards, the two of clubs. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Tenth card, uh, tenth card, um, tenth card, two of clubs. So, left hand, have the spectator remember the card which falls on his number. Count to 15 and replace these cards on the pack. So, now cut away the top half of the pack or oh, wait you got to see something now we cut away the top half of the pack 
with the right hand and doing the, that doing this uh, back slip the top cut onto the lower portion which which you place at your right so if we, we we cut we we now do do cut the cards and slip cut a card on top of this portion which which i place to my right yeah your left to my right so leaves me with with uh, with um, a top um pack Riffle the upper portion and ask the spectator if he sees his card. He says that he does, but unknown to him, it is now on the card higher in the pack. So we riffle the cards and we ask the spectator, do you see your card? And he says, I do, but he doesn't know. Now it is in a different position. It's not the tent anymore because we took one away. It is at the, at the, at the ninth, right? Now we hand this package to the spectator. So what is the number uh, of which you thought? Because of course the spectator thought it. And the spectator thought in our case of the nine, of the 10, I'm sorry, the nine is in the book. So now we explain to the spectator, righty right, you got your package of cards, spectator package, and I got mine, uh, this package here. You ever read the your package of cards? So now I say, okay, I take my first card, uh, that is one. Now I take his card, that is one, right? Now I do the same thing, it's two, right? Um, uh, two, now we go, it's three. He goes, it's three. Now we go, it's four. He goes, it's four. He, goes, he says, it's five, and it's five, and it's six, right? It's six, and it's seven, and seven, and it's eight. <laughs> it's eight, and <laughs> it's eight. <laughs> and how, how long do I go? I'm at uh, eight. Continue to do this until you reach a number that is one one less than the number he thought of. We were, have you been with eight or with nine? With eight, right? So it's nine and it's nine. That's where we stop. One underneath the number he has been thinking of. The last card he places in your left hand will be his chosen card. It's not the chosen card right now, but it will be the chosen card. Why is it not the chosen card right now? I don't understand it. Now here we go again, trying to learn a trick. But Maris tries to learn a trick. <laughs> what happened? Okay, we go through this uh, uh, once again. Then uh, you say uh, the next card, ninety card, Kindle, please face downwards on the table. No, no, no. The last card he plays on your left hand will be his chosen card. Although he believes that is the top of the of the ones he holds. You say the next card, the ninth card, is your card. Kindly place it face downwards on the table. So that's what the spectator does now when he does this no matter how he plays it have him turn it so that it is at right angle so you have him play around with the card and while the, he does so you do um you do um palm the card you know and we talked about palming the other session different variations palm the cards you know and don't flash it here with this new deck palming the card so and then as everyone attention to the mystery of the card on the table, place your right hand casually over the cards you hold in your left hand and palm the top card uh, and, uh, and palm or, or the, uh, the left hand and palm the top card. Yeah, I did this. And think it. He, he names this card and you say, I don't think it is. Will you turn your face up? As he turns the card and all the attention is misdirected to it, move your right hand with the palmed card at a normal speed to the packet at your right, drawing it inwards and adding the palm card. Rest your fingertips on the center of the card and can you see it's, it's in, it isn't your card? Yes, you thought you saw your card among those who were holding, but actually it has been at ninth position in my pack all the time, right? This is my I pack to place it in here and it has been in my position all the time. Okay, okay, now I got the, now I got the, the, the thing. Are you with me? Is anybody with me or am I losing everybody here? Being, being uh, stupid. So, once again, I want. I need jetzt, no, I need now um, you guys to interact with me. I need um, I, uh, one of you, the first one, please a number between 15 and f uh, five and 15, bigger than five and smaller than 15. Oh, Andy Payne. Andy Payne writes, hi, uh, uh, hi from London, not Maris. I have to dip in and out, but we'll watch the whole thing later. Love these. You are bringing the Royal Road to life. Hey, thank you so much. That's that's a nice take on on what I'm doing here. Um, thank you, thank you so much. 
Um, and awesome you're tuning in and enjoy watching this all through later. Here's a big shout out, Eddie Payne. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. So anybody, anybody wants to play with me the game or you're not? Maybe it's because I took the, took the six, six, really? That's what you, that's all you got? Nine. We take the six. Honey Badger's strength and conditioning was longer there. So I'm going. I go to one, two, three, four, five, six. Memorize your card. Eight of diamonds. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Doesn't matter so much. I bring them all back. You said you have your card memorized. It was the eight of diamonds. <laughs> I'm so retarded. <laughs> now, I, now I um. Cut off the cards, cut the cards using a back, back slip and putting these to my right. And I give this now to the spectator, right? And now look, my dear spectator, this is what we do. You've got your cards, I've got my cards and do it like this here a little bit, spectator's card. So say, we place now the cards into my hand. Um, it's uh, one and one, gotta be careful here not to tip a double. And then we got the second card, and we got the second card, right? We got the third, third card, and we got the th third card. We got the <laughs> fourth card, and the fourth card, and we got the fifth card, and the fifth card. Now, this is supposed to be the spectator's card. Yeah, it is this time, very well. And now we say to the spectator, um, so, um, what do we say to the spectator? Now, I don't know what we say to the spectator right now. It's another thing. So uh, now you say, uh, blah, 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 you say the next card, the ninth card is your card. Kindly place it face downwards on the table. When he does this, no matter how. So the next card. So that's where you know what card were you thinking of? You asked this uh, somewhere at the beginning. So this is your card, the ninth card. That's what the spectator thinks. It's not the ninth card in the scenario. It's the sixth card. I'm sorry, because in the in this book. So the spectator is not that sure. Hey, Shaders Medic, Shaders Medic. Hey, it's not that sure that this card lying in, in lying there. Now, as he puts it there, you say, look, you got to put this really, make this look really good. I want, I want, I want this to look really good. And as uh, I want this to look really good and as they are uh, dealing with this thing here and everybody's looking there you palm the card and then while this action continues you gently come over and place the card on the other cards and you say are you sure about this now or what, what and, it, and then now you reveal the magic you say see this is the thing you thought um, it was in your pile but I am believe that actually your card is uh, is ninth position of my pile and now the guy says, no, it's right here on the table. And then he said, check a look. And he takes a look and he says, oh, no, it's not my card. And he said, I told you so. It's right here on my table. That's a nice trick. That's a nice trick. That's really a nice trick, which comes, I don't know, um, sideways in a way. Um, and again, here we are confronted or we are introduced to this um, uh, method in magic of combining or of um, 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 embedding or putting together blending together different techniques and then a feat of magic a card tricks uh, uh, elaborates to a real feat of card magic and this is exciting wow so that that's that's the first trick i like this trick very much and i believe this is one of these tricks that really can get you into palming cards you know we had we did um um talk about um palming was it the last session or the session before that? Anyways, you'll find all the sessions in the info cards, guys, in, if, in, in case you want to go back on the material, right? Isn't that great? And also, of course, in the info box. So, um, Shaders Magic writes, I am currently uh, going to my hotel because we've been at a theme park today and we're going back tomorrow. Okay, um, so you are you are always on the on the run on the walk. <laughs> you are on, on the autobahn the other day, and now you are on a theme park where you have been to a theme park and you're walking home. <laughs> are you listening to this as a podcast or what? That's crazy. I think it's funny. I used the blank card. I think you used the blank card. I think Cabalet. The blank card. Okay, Cabalet is right now here, coming completely from the off, probably with a um thousand milliseconds time delay <laughs> <laughs> okay 
okay let's uh, let's um let's see how how we're doing we got 13 viewers currently everybody welcome to the show my name is not marius and welcome we are in the middle here of a card magic live practice uh, session walk through railroad card magic backslip slip cut force uh, backslip control and the tricks today we're focusing on tricks and we are now in for 43 minutes so i got um max uh, half an hour 30 more minutes to go through the other two tricks um because as i said or explained last live stream previous live stream we're gonna keep this shorter from now on you know due to due to the uh, the algorithm and so on and also our nerves and also our capacity you know we don't need to push it too much and um maybe i will add some longer practice sessions um in between there now and then so now the trick, the tantalizer, the tantalizer. In this trick, there is an element of sly humor which should be capitalized upon. A card is selected and returned to the pack. The whole pack is dealt into two piles, one of which you keep. The spectator cannot find this card among those dealt him, hence you deal your pile into two piles in the same way as before. But he still cannot find this card among you, give him. This continues until what you are doing dawns him on him. And sure enough, when only one card remains, this is the chosen card. So, um, this is the synopsis here of the trick. And by the way, I like that Hogarth and Bruce started to synopsize the tricks because there were tricks where they didn't synopsize that. And for me, it's always um, harder to get, um, to get the, to get the, um, the build of the trick if i don't know where they're heading for and this happens very often in the book where i'm expecting something different and and so i don't catch up uh, at the right moment for what is happening eh, uh, just give me a synopsis size then give me a walk through the um the handling and then give me a um um a pattern or something you know a story Nairismith does none want to join the Discord. I just can't be on Discord here right now because I am doing a live stream, right? We, we are live, you know. This Discord thing is open for uh, all the time, 24-7. Um, just join there and then you see who's there. I'm not there right now. Maybe somebody else is there. Um, but you guys got the chat. It's not so crowded here for now that you can't use chat to, to, um, to chat. Right? <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 back to the card table. So, so... So again, we are introduced and again, we are blending different methods together, methods we already learned in the book. Now we start by glimpsing the bottom card. This is a nice glimpse, just like this, four of diamonds and um, da, 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 is at the bottom of the deck. What? Okay, and then we bring it to the top. Okay, we bring it to the top, of course. So here we 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 um we now use the glimpse to uh, to catch the bottom card, which was the four of spades. Then we shuffle it to the top because now we will use it as a um as a key card. So we have a spectator select a card out of a fan, and as he replaces it, is, we bring our card back to the top. And now probably I've got to look at the cards, taking a run through the cards. Yeah, of course, searching for the card. So we're searching for the card and then I find my four of spades, so the 10 of it. And now, <laughs> and now we're counting again. Wait, what? <laughs> counting his card as one, count 20 cards to the left and then cut and, cu uh, 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 and cut any cards over 22 to the bottom. If there are not enough cards to bring, it to, uh, to bring you to 22, continue to count from the bottom and cut the right cards. In either case, the spectator's card is placed 20 seconds from the top. So, um, so, so now, what, what 20 second? So now I count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And I cut the other cards in there and I got the card positioned. Now what is the justification here for this move? Um, I'll do this trick a little differently, you say, and deal the package into two piles, one of the spectator and one for yourself. Now this is self-working. So now I, I'm, I'm dealing two piles and I'm always starting by dealing the cards to the spectator. Right? 
And let me check if I got the card 27. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 10 of, 10 of clubs, right? So, uh, so, so let's talk about this later after we walk through. I believe, uh, I don't like the way how we get this card in, in position of 20, of the 23rd. 20, 20 second position of the deck maybe there's a better way of doing it i don't know but for now we stick with the plan here with uh, who got in bray so and now i do this thing now i start um dealing in two piles starting with the spectator so i'm dealing those cards and one thing is for sure while you do so uh, uh stay focused you know you just can't can't go wrong here because you're in the middle of a card magic performance but don't focus too much on the cards you know you you need to 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 say something you need to keep uh I f <laughs> you need to keep <laughs> you need to keep this entertaining for the folks and just for a blink, blink second i lost where i was so i don't know Anyways, now you say, we keep on walking through this thing here. Um, now you ask the spectator, is your card in the pile? And the spectator goes and goes through the cards and he does not find his or her card in their pile. So this is God. So say, okay, these cards go away. Let's do this one more time. You once again deal on the cards and you start with the spectator and then you concentrate not to mess it up I, I like to i tend to mess stuff up like this you know so um so keep this entertaining you know once again <clears throat> you ask the spectator is your card in there um and it's not but there's a blank card and a double back <laughs> okay does it need to be with 52 cards probably i don't know if we're getting through with this here because these are more than 52 cards so it's the same thing bang 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 we are dealing the cards right again the cards is not not supposed to be here in the pack it's not and one more time or oh, just a couple of rounds bang 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 it is there is it there it is not there now it's here there it is it doesn't supposed to be here anyways you go for the second round bang bang spaghetti got two it's not there and it's supposed to be in your hand now i know why this didn't work it didn't work because I'm working with too many cards and they didn't tell me this, right? So, this I believe this I believe I believe the camera just went off. Give it a break. I I believe um I believe we have to um to t get rid of the joker. We have to get rid of the other joker. We have to get rid of the... So this is good to have ma make this to, to, ma to have made this mistake because 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 well um fr uh, flying we threats uh naira smith i love to but i'm not familiar with this card so i have to figure that out somewhere tomorrow it's not so much a big of a deal it's kind of a chatty chatty thing and if lick uh, you just need to have an account for yourself and if you follow the link on the um uh, community tab on my uh, channel page here on youtube you will be redirected in in this chat chat room basically where somebody is maybe i don't know now uh leave uh, leave smiles ask uh, by the way welcome to show Leaf smiles what, what cards you're using there i'm using the um brand new uh, uh brand new deck of um i don't even know uh, they are called copac and it's a 310 copac 310 this deck is signed by flying we <laughs> because he decided to send me a, a deck with a signature on and um he asked me to give those a test and i'm very satisfied with the cards really nice cards um brand new deck um, has this back design and I said it before what I like about this deck design is very innocent you will not cause any suspicion by layman and I like this and just the same the Joker is just like that so um, you know when you have all these fancy decks with cool jokers and all this stuff and and um, and if you have a deck like that fair enough it's pretty cool and it doesn't matter so much if you perform well but um still at the end of the day there is this rule something innocent something what people expect from playing cards because this is just as ugly as it gets <laughs> in my opinion and this is how how jokers 
all over the world from the standard playing card companies that produce cards for people actually playing with them cards look like. That's what people know. And also the back design is like, that's what people know. And if you bring out a deck like this, they will go, well, it's a deck of cards. But if you bring out something fancy, something really fancy and shiny, you know, with, with super design, and people are like, what kind of cards do you have there? And of course, these cards communicate. There's a lot of work went into these cards. These are special cards. Yeah, and you don't want your spectators to have in their minds, these are special cards. You want them to have in their minds, these are ordinary cards. Yeah, because it doesn't matter uh, since we're doing sleight of hand magic. <laughs> we can work with any deck. It doesn't matter, right? <laughs> Viva El Mancra, E777, whatever that means. Viva La Bohème. Viva La Magica. Very nice. So, um, uh, uh, where was I? So, I want to just, I just, just want to go through this one more time um, because we still got the time. Turning the camera back on. Guys, are you having a great time? Are you enjoying yourself? And hopefully, hopefully, you got a deck of cards out right now and you're practicing your thing to make this quality, quality for yourself. That's what I'm always saying, you know? Everyone's back to the card table and then we are going to, to do this now. Bang. Um, so, how, how, did we, how was it? So, we have, we have a spectator select card. Now, maybe, maybe um, you can do it like this. We have a spectator select card. And it is the Seven of Clubs. Seven of Clubs. And now we um, just leave the Seven of Clubs where we find it. <laughs> very, very innocent, very shitty performance, but it doesn't matter. And now, you know what? Um, let's, let's give it one more shuffle. And now, wh wh where do I need it? 22? So I go, uh, one, two, th two. <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twenty one. So I, I missed the shuffle, definitely it's not twenty one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. No, so it's not a card. Where was I? Seven of clubs, right? That was seven of clubs. So it was not so bad, just one card. Right? Now we're now we're seventy two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, twenty one. Oh it was. It was right. I did it right. So I got it now twenty two. Now you get the picture. Shuffle it shuffle it there with the with the uh, with the overhand shuffle. Ah oh, yeah, it's kind of risky too. You can mess it up. Um, or you do it immediately with the uh, with the um, invisible uh, turnover pass. Zach writes, great channel. I hope you get plenty of subs. Yes, plenty of subs. Um, but only the good ones, only the ones who are really interested in learning magic and who um, do respect other people and do respect the art form, right? That's important to me. Okay. Um, but um, everybody, no matter how old you are, no matter um, uh, what you're up to in your life, um, if you're working or in school, if you're tall or small, uh, tiny or fat, no matter the color of your skin, if you're interested in car magic, if this is your hobby or if you dream of becoming the next type of Copperfield, I don't care. Um, I'm here um, doing my thing, I enjoy this. We just started really building up a community with these live jam sessions, so very welcome. Um, Zark and everybody else new to the show, currently 12 folks watching. So, 20, 20 second position, I checked this double. Because I don't, don't trust this one. Am I right? One, more. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven of clubs. No, seven of clubs. So twenty-two, right? So now we do this deal, this this dealing thing. Uh, one to the spectator, one to the magician. The whole deck. It's the whole deck. The whole deck. I gotta shuffle like this. And here again, you see, you have to practice even these self-working card tricks. Now this is only self-working halfway through because we have to kind of, you know, um, control the card or get it into a position. 20, 20 second position. Now we ask the spectator to take a look. Is the seven of clubs there? There is no seven of clubs in this pile. This goes away. And we deal this once again. 
spectator, magician, spectator, magician, spectator, magician. Just like that. Is the card in there? And the card, the spectator, it's not in there. And maybe you can play this here like kind of, ah, shit, man, what's going on? It's supposed to be there in the first pack. I, we keep on doing this, right? And um, I like this very much. I'm going to talk uh, talk to you about this in a second. <laughs> because now here you're kind of in this uh, position. You are failing. The card is never there. And you can really put it like this. Uh, th you can really play this little fun game. Because it's kind of an annoying process, and you you gotta be annoyed about this. You're like kind of, well, I'm sorry, you know, I'm I'm just I'm I'm I don't know what's happening, but it's supposed to be in your pile, right, for the first time, and now is it there? And then at, at a certain point, the, the spectator might realize what's happening because as we finish here, now 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 it's gotta be in your pile, right? And it's not in your pile, and then it ends up in your pile, and you kind of cook. You say, well, well, what, what was your card anyways? And then the spectator says, well, the seven of spades and uh, clubs, and you say. Well, 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 of course I knew because that's a card I, 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 I kept for myself, right? Ha <laughs> Funny, so funny, very funny. Now here's this, 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 the approach, the performance approach, the way how you interact with your audience. Once again, that's actually what makes this trick very strong. It's not so much what what is happening, not so much the effect, and everything you use just as a setup. So you're getting ahead of your spectator while there's nothing really happening, and you can explain it like this. So I guess the first method of getting to the to, of getting the target card to 27 position is like by simply um, finding it with the key card and then adding those 22 cards and saying, wait, 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 let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what I'm going to do now, now, now. And then you might even want to give it a false shot, or false card. Um, or just give it a simple false card onto the table, and then you start dealing those cards, and you're very confident about this card is in there, right? And then we, you know, I do something really great. It's not in there. Okay, okay, we, I do something else. Like you kind of shuffle the cards. I, I, I'm, now it's in there, <laughs> and it's not in there. And then you forget it's no, it's not in there. And you can show. Are you sure? Are you sure? You can really play this. Uh, be very playful with this, and at the end, and at a certain point, depending on how. Um, how smart your, spec, uh, your onlooker is or your spectator or the person you play this with, they're going to realize what is happening and they maybe they, they, they um, um, dig into it. Um, or they're going to be very surprised at the end because it is surprising then at the end that, that this card is the last card on the table. Remember, a, a card, a spectator completely freely took out of the deck. I like that. I like the trick. What do you say? Do you like this trick? Asking you while I'm turning on here the music. I just have to tell YouTube again that I just want to keep on listening to music. I, I'm telling you, they are getting me to the point where I just where I just buy YouTube. Not not no. I mean like the the service, not the whole platform. That would be. I don't I don't buy a business. That's just a business model that's not working. <laughs> Bang YouTube. <laughs> Odd Marys, do you recommend Expert Card Technique as the book you should read after Royal Road? Mm. Mike Fenwick. Flying Wheat thinks it's a great trick. Yes, it is. Um, um, after, like, um, here's the thing. Um, the, um, uh, it is um, it is very different from the Royal Road to Card Magic, although it's the same author. So it's not... Uh, it's not um, as didactical as uh, didactic like the Royal Road to Card Magic, where we got an introduction and tells us, you know, follow this step by step. The expert um, card technique is more like kind of a collection of the state of the art sleight of hand techniques with cards uh, to the point in time of publishing this thing. Um, it is worth buying it, definitely, um, to. To um, look up um, specific uh, tricks or specific techniques, uh, which are described very well in this book, um, um, they cover pretty much the whole range of, of sleight of hand, um, or at least like really a, a, a lot of material. And there are also some really bon monstrants, some very special things. So this is also, of course, a book that is really worth um, reading through. Um, and again, th because this is how uh, Hugard and Broy, Broy were rolling, they were highly educated uh, folks, and they, they do they do give you a lot of material in between the lines, so to say, just just as we find it in the Royal Road to Card Magic. Um, but it is not written in a manner of that you have to read it from the beginning to the end. That's all I'm saying in order to to get the most out of it, right? So, um, um, so. 
Yes, get it, but it's it's a little different than a road road to card magic, and it's a little it's a little there's 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 a little more uh, ch challenge. It's a little more uh, the difficulty level um, is at, at, at uh, some um, in some parts uh, very high. Um, yeah, but I, I recommend to uh, you gotta have this book. This is uh, if if you're serious in card magic and you love card magic. Um, um, there is this, uh, the, the foundation is a, a straw road to card magic. Then there are many others, expert card technique you find a lot. Then there is, um, of course, um, um, expert at the card table. Oh God, the various, and, and, um, and then there, and then if you get into there and if you're interested, there comes, um, there, you know, you just start sucking stuff up anyways, you know, <laughs> that's just how it is. <laughs> um, favorite book of mine is a uh, paper engine by, um, the Paper Engine by um, Aaron Fisher, really, really great book. Changed my approach on card magic um, uh, completely. Then, of course, uh, Tamaris, um, The Magic Way, uh, but you don't, this is, uh, uh, this is out of stock for a long time. Mnemonica um, uh, is a, this, these are, these are things that will completely uh, widen your horizon. Yeah, to you, you, if you, you know, the Royal Road to Card Magic is really rich, but that is just like it, this, is just like a little bit doing diddly diddly in the water. You know, we're like in the, we're the kindergartners here. We're not we're not on the open sea at all. We're just in a when it comes to you know slide of hand fo uh, focus, uh, uh, cutting edge, um, full throttle uh, card magic. <laughs> of course, all these techniques are already. Um, absolutely fantastic and we don't have to stress out you know because with, with all the stuff we got in royal road to card magic as you can see we got a lot of material here to put together uh, our own routines uh we make those tricks our own and then we enable to perform some some really nice card magic by the way uh last um uh, on the chapter on the palm remember the piano trick i just got busted with that shit L the last time i tried it uh, i did it for, for for a guy who uh, and I did, I did this and then i said yeah uh, even odd and say and now i'm going to take my sleight of hand you know to make it and he said no you're not <laughs> because i know how it's uh, because this you know i'm not stupid what, what do you want do you think i'm stupid <laughs> and i was like yeah <laughs> he didn't go, get away with it because actually i was i was hoping to get away in, uh, with um uh, uh, with this very person because somebody who's very self-aware and who's really um knowing uh, about uh, uh um, his in intelligence level <laughs> And I just wanted to fool him so bad with it. Just say, but he wouldn't fall for it. I <laughs> yeah. uh, love uh, mnemonica. So much more you can do once you know the start. But uh, hey, man, you can see, you see, I, I'm, I'm hardly, you know, managing to deal the cards. And I'm, I'm hardly man managing to memorize the, the selection. <laughs> I've went already one time a full cycle of the memor memorization strategy of the book <laughs> and i memorized three cards <laughs> it's like man i maybe i i stick to slide of fan <laughs> It's like when, when you're no-brainer, sometimes life's, you know, I got my, I got, I got, I got it here, you know, I got it here. And then I'm, I'm, I'm practicing color changes and double lifts and try to hammer this in my head. But I, I guess I have to go through the uh, uh, memorization uh, process uh, uh, one or uh, second time. Um, but, but true to what is true is the cards that stay, they, they stay, which really surprised me. Like stay in the, in the thing of, yeah, they don't, uh, n number seven of spades, you know, or whatever. Great, great. So, 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 we are now with one hour and six um, minutes. So, um, I'm pretty much here in the time range. I'm having a great time myself right now. I hope you guys do too. My name is Ot Marius. This is just ro how I roll. Just let me hit you with the trailer and then we talk about the last trick. Odd Marius magic. Like and subscribe. Because, because 
um, I forgot the trailer at the beginning of this live stream. And um, everybody new to the show, everybody watching right now, 14 current viewers, welcome very much. My name is Dr. Marius, and this is just what I do. We are in the middle here of the Royal Road to Card Magic walkthrough, Card Magic live practice jail session. Everybody who knows the drill gets a deck of cards out, and then it is going to be quality and quality time for you listening to this as a podcast, watching to this, maybe learning something new, you know, getting the Royal Road to Card Magic from a different angle if you don't have the book. By now by the way and you're serious about card magic seriously you got to get this book i've got some links in the info box for um for where you can purchase this um and also uh links uh, if you want to treat yourself with some nice playing cards uh, link for for the b club special which are really nice cards for practicing same price range like this beautiful deck here i got i just got it from uh from flying we he sent it to me um there is uh vernon Ursenbach. nice to see you again vernon Ursenbach, what's up how are you doing man uh welcome to the show Welcome to today's stream. We are already done here because I'm making this more crisp than ever because uh, because um, of the algorithm and stuff, you know, keeping it on spot. That's the challenge here. So now no, now 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 no, no. now let's go here to the to the trick called under your head. Under your head. Now I need a hat for this. So let me let me pick up a hat. Uh, believe it or not, I got a hat because I'm a card guy and this looks ridiculously stupid. Now now I look like a real German. <laughs> Welcome to the German Livestream on the Card Magic. Die Zauberei mit den Karten. Heute werden wir unser Publikum verzaubern. Jawohl, jawohl ja. Und dazu trinken wir Bier und essen Wurst. Right. We eat sauerkraut and we drink some beer with the playing cards because the Germans, they are very funny people and they like to be entertained with the cards, you know, especially in the summertime. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I'm sorry, guys, I'm losing my shit here again. So um, now what I want to say about um, about this uh, about this thing here. This is a trick which um, gets us away from the cards a little bit. This is one of, this is actually kind of a small parlor routine. Um, and a parlor routine, that's something, of course, you're addressing a larger audience because you can do it. And then of course you um, you have some props, you have some, you have a hat and you can do some juggling with a hat if you can do that. No, it's really, I don't know. I, can, I can't do, I, uh, maybe. Um, and then we need an envelope. We need an envelope. Let me see if I got an envelope. I got an envelope. Now, I'm not going to perform this for you because I can't. I can't. I never practiced this. But we need an envelope and we need something to write. And we need the, that's a Sharpie. That's the magician's wand. You know, make the Sharpie disappear. No. And um, uh, we need the paper. Um, flying wheel, is it okay if I use your letter? <laughs> Okay, um, just a little joke. We just need a paper, but it doesn't matter um, for things. And um, and so we got all these props. And props like this, you can all you're already into. You know, you you uh, you present the, uh, you know, your props and you build up the 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 the, 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 the set the setting and the temperature and the vibrations for what you're gonna do. So this is already more than a card trick, right? So and um, uh, what this like what this does here is um, um, that we have um, five cards, uh, borrow a pack of cards, you should prepare two tails on your hand, request the speakers. take the envelope in your left hand, so uh, request the speakers to write the names on their cards. So, uh, tear paper and then... So you even have a volunteer here. So I have somebody have five cards selected. One, two, three, four, five cards. So we have five card selectors here in, in this scenario. And um, then um, you, you, they, everybody has their cards and you, you give them the papers and then show write their cards on the papers while you put the cards in an envelope, baby, probably. That's the best thing you do it. And then like, how is the handling? How do they do this here? So the ha handling is I'm, um, I'm um I'm putting the the cards now you can see this here like I'm putting the cards now in the uh, in the envelope right right in right in they go like I've never done this so let me give this a try so this is the C so, right Jesus Christ so they go right there in the envelope so I got the cards now in the envelope and now I close the envelope 
licking the cut as everybody is writing everybody is writing um their names now this wasn't really licking like writing their cards on the on the thing now i place now i flashed here that's not supposed to be i place this thing here like this and place it here we got this hat is, wasn't made for this anyway so you don't see it i got it here right you get the idea and um now i have um how do how do i do this no i'm so stupid I, pl I place the head like this this is how i do it now i place the envelope in there and then you can't flash the card so much so i place it in there or how do i i place it in there because that's yeah right because that's 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 i was wondering when i read it these hats they have this thing here you know this is from the old times when people were wearing it when men were wearing hats okay so they have this thing here this thing here so and you place it here like this and you have the card like this right and you put it in there you can leave drop it here drop it into this thing and put put the envelope on top of there so you don't see it like that i guess maybe i'm just trying to trying to riddle those to riddle this here and again something like this also is kind of you know a slide of a slide of body you have to figure this out how you do this how to perform this and um practice this and get your get your team going down anyway so i gotta cut in here in there and it is the um the five of hearts and um so blah blah i walk this in there instruct your assistant to take the other hat and collect the written slipper after the uh, in folder at, 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 uh, get it right and then i'm just going at one point i'm going like this and i place it like that that's that's the motion and now i got the card under the hat right and, and there is another hat going around i don't know i just read this here so we need another hat or whatever a cap let's let's work with a cat you know with a with a, with a cap like uh a, with a round round side so cap and then the, the guys throw in their cards and then you have draw a card you put out a paper you know like some paper where the knives have stood enough and then you say and th i like this here in a row road to card magic you say Will the gentleman who wrote the, the, the two of them, who wrote the five of hearts, the gentleman who wrote the five of hearts, or the, the spectator who wrote the five of hearts, uh, 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 will, um, um, will the gentleman uh, step up and take the envelope? So you ask the person uh, to take the envelope. <laughs> and I love this, this trick brings so much joy into my heart. I'm definitely going to take this into my repertoire. I'm gonna tell you why. I read, I mean, I read this this morning, and I, I just kind of, you know, like, uh, yes, that, that's magic at its finest. And so, the person who at uh, five of hearts, please take the envelope. Now, it's, now the person takes the envelope um, without showing the slip. To the, it, it doesn't matter. Don't care about the slip, right? <laughs> tell him to take the five cards from the envelope and call their names. He finds. Four cards only. The two of diamonds is missing. So now he goes like the six of the, the, the nine of hearts, and somebody goes, "Oh, my card." The three of clubs. Somebody goes, "Oh, my card." The four of clubs. Oh, my card. The six of cards. But it's only four cards. The five of hearts is not there. And, <laughs> and then the magician says, <laughs> and that's the best part of it. The card has vanished. <laughs> the card has vanished. <laughs> Turn back to the spectator saying, perhaps it's under the hat. <laughs> and there is the card. And it, wait, wait, here's the reveal. And there is the card. And it is the five of hearts. <laughs> oh man, I would buy a hat in order to perform this. Do you guys, do you guys read, do you guys get it? What this means, what this does, what this trick does? This is wonderful. Now, <laughs> now, for the longest time, nobody knows what's coming, right? So you have an assistant, you have a hat, you have all those props, you have a pen, and this is a lot of social interaction. You know, people are super excited about it. Then you have your assistant, <laughs> and this is really fun to perform. You have your assistant, you have your assistant five cards select. Um, you have your assistant help you. Uh, how do I say this in English? Five people now select five cards out of the deck, and your assistant does this. Now you take these five cards and you put them in an envelope, 
and this is a little bit what you gotta like practice to do this I noticed. and you ask your spectators to write the, na the, the names of their cards onto their little sheets of paper right and then <laughs> you put this thing on your head and, and this is what the spectator will remember and then I'm just an obsessing to, to get to get this really to get this really down and then um, you will make a little lottery a little draw <laughs> You can have them draw them cards. So you have your assistant, you know, draw the card. You take the card, you unplug it, and then you say, that's serious. <laughs> Did the person, <laughs> and then you name the card that's lying under the head. <laughs> the one, it's completely free. The one that, that you just managed not to put into the envelope. <laughs> this card you read. <laughs> will the person who draws the card come and take the envelope? <laughs> now, it's the first thing what I love so much about it, because um, because um, because it's so straightforward, so straightforward in their face, <laughs> and it is so and it's so intrinsically funny, because all of this is a fake, right? The whole situation is a fake. <laughs> and um, since they doesn't know, since they don't know what's coming, um, <laughs> it really doesn't matter. You don't. There's no. There's no heat on this little thing. You can just put it away. You just put it away. It doesn't matter. Uh, you don't don't worry about this afterwards, and then, and then, the person opens the envelope, and doesn't find their card. And this is when you say, and this is the best of it, the card has vanished. <laughs> it hasn't vanished. It has just not been put in the envelope. And if you think about the whole 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 situation here, this is quite obvious, right? And that's what I love it so much about it. Now you just make it vanish with the power of your words and i would really i can't i can't play the series i would never try to play the series i would really go it has vanished and i just sh shit my pants <laughs> and i would try to take it and i would say maybe it's under the head <laughs> and that's how i would play it because it will still blow people's minds uh, because it's so stupid <laughs> oh it's wonderful i love this i love this is a fantastic trick but there's one question. What has it to do with the backstop? With the backstop force? Stop cut force. Where do I use this here? I don't know. I don't know. This is a nice feat of magic. And this uh, this fits really into my um into my performing needs. Because I I like hanging out at bars, you know. Drink some beer, or some some long drinks, or cocktails. Uh, um, got a, a matter of fact, a very nice uh, bar just around the corner. Um, bar situation is perfect for performing these kinds of tricks. And if you combine this with um, some nice tricks here from uh, from the Royal Rotary, even from the very beginning, like like the uh, poker players' picnics, producing. Um, producing four aces and then um making those four aces leap from the table back onto the deck remember this where was this which one was this somewhere in the, uh, somewhere in the center um a very nice trick and then you add something like this there you know you are you what you got you got yourself like a solid half an hour solid 45 minutes of performing like entertaining card magic stuff laymen have never seen these days i mean honestly i just i just i don't i don't i don't a hat who was a hat is there are hats okay in this world still but everybody used to wear them it was to, to say using a hat that was using a de, de, uh, using it was normal you know to, uh, to so uh so these tricks might be old as fuck but you, your audience today our layman audience today they have never heard this trick if you perform this trick they're gonna have a blast of a time i like it so much very very nice so guys now you have been a uh, super silent in the chat damn it i can see you through my tears from laughter i'm going to practice this that's great flying we is having a great time awesome yeah um uh, uh, yeah this uh, this is a trick i like this trick very much and also like the other tricks which you get you into palming and this gets you into you know performing like this 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 parlor stuff like this theatrical stuff which is so important with you know it doesn't matter how skillful you are with your hands. It really doesn't matter. 
if you are just skillful with your hands and you have no other character qualities, um, go uh, go and try to become a famous poker player. But you will you will get gain no no success in magic because magic is an entertaining art form. You need to be you need to be entertaining your audience and really and um, you know why there are so many comics uh, comics uh, uh, comic comic magicians out there following the path of Tommy Cooper who died on stage with a heart attack and everybody thought it was a joke which is a true story I believe <laughs> right um, and Tommy Cooper however he wasn't he, he probably he wasn't the first but he was the first who became so big time famous just leaving all this classical and by the time the, all these you know there were thousands of magicians out there who would do this dove act and do very serious things with props and stuff you know Th stuff that today only lives lives on a, on the big stages um super height with light and, and 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 fireworks and stuff here talking talking um uh, chris angel and and, and, and um consorts you know um, and Tommy Cooper just, you know, um, he was a serious magician uh, for the longest time. He was really good at it, actually, also. But, but at one point, he realized there's no point. You know, everybody's doing the same boring shit. And if, and 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 if if one more magician pulls out a dove from a from a bouquet of roses, I'm going to throw up because it's so fucking boring. And then he started doing his this thing, and he he literally made people laugh in front of their television sets like 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 rarely one has done before i mean this guy's up today it's funny like crazy so it just you know this is just like beef be entertaining you don't need to be funny you can be that serious like um um a mentalist um darren brown for example you know who um, occasionally scares the shit out of me <laughs> with the stuff he does by the way darren brown also comes from cards um or part-time cards he's a very he's an excellent um card card man uh, the devil's paper, something with devil. Absolutely, um, absolutely a hot take on the subject. Um, with some very beautiful, beautiful um, and um, unique, um, uh, subtle um, variations and creations on, on classic material, which is great. I always appreciate it. So, 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 we are here now for one hour, 25 minutes. I'm done for today i've got i've said everything i wanted to say i had a blast of a time i hope you did so too um we've um we've um been here with the road road to card magic now let me go back to this one here because of the green screen what is coming next what is coming next now next is um we're going back to the overhand shuffle um uh in jog and break overhand break control overhand lift shuffle lift shuffle four spread and break holding a break spread and break control so um these are things i already covered on my channel like the spread and the spread break control so there are tutorials available if you want to prep yourself for that but i also have a tutorial on the lift shuffle force um, um uh, which is a powerful force you will find also this tutorial in in, in on my channel if you want to prep yourself and this is heavy material here this is something this is uh, kind of you know um th th this is now where we're getting into an area where we take these basic techniques and we really weaponize them you know we weaponize them um just met right this was fun thank you for making this uh, live video have uh, have a great day yeah th yeah you too but we're not 100 percent done here yet i'm, I'm just uh, teasing you guys for the thing and then come false shuffles and cuts and uh, you also know how important those are and then we go to the double lift and turnover Ooh. also tutorial serial available and then we go to the pass also tutorial serial available um and and that's that's then the end of august so we we will do a, uh, here the last two weeks of july and then four weeks august although maybe i won't be there one week you will see but whole august the rest of july is power packed full throttle stuff coming at us great tricks great techniques in-depth tutorials also available and here comes the kicker guys i'm going to hit you starting tomorrow every second day pretty much with a fast paced tutorial highlighting the keynotes on the move starting with over and shuffle hindu shuffle and then we're going through all the basic techniques cutting techniques oh, blah, blah, blah. um uh, also i did something on the on the, I, i'm revealing the most important secret on double lift double turnover very soon and um doing uh, i did a tutorial highlighting the keynotes on the past once again i just shut this uh, right now so stuff is coming up higher frequency and all these videos is going to be very short like two minutes to three minutes max 
just to pimp up my um, average um, percentage view uh, views average per average percentage view time I'm sorry average percent view time which drastically dropped since I was primarily doing only these long live streams here on my channel which uh, the algorithm took kind of as an offense and he was going like you know what Omaris I'm s I'm on Marius I'm done with you you are just you're doing this this high quality tutorials that when people watch them they stop watching YouTube they stop the shit I suggest all the time and they start practicing their thing so uh, no no I will not suggest you anymore and now you do this long 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 can't match live, live jams and after that also the people they they fall asleep or something but I don't like it so I will not suggest you anymore so, so now I'm just um I've been like kind of you know going too deep into this impersonation of the of the algorithm it's time to go it's I'm losing my shit again <laughs> um thank you so much for supporting me on patreon whoever does and uh, reading me right now I really appreciate flying we thank you once again for this beautiful playing cards I really enjoy these cards I really enjoy these cards great great thank you so much and then everybody else thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for supporting this channel by um, engaging with my content uh, feel free um, or be very welcome to check out my patreon site also and um, if you want to if you need a, 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 a version for, of the royal road to card magic uh, if you want to lay your uh, self, uh, hand on uh, on some bees, uh, all the links you need are in the info cards as well as in the info box of this live stream. And if you haven't already, hit double combo, subscribe and notification bell icon and you can rest assured that more magical stuff is going to be uploaded very, very soon. Quality video not too long, not too short. So I, I gotta go now. I'm going. I give you. I give you. A th I give you three more uh, cigarettes, and then I'm. I'm hitting it. I just made my outro, and then I didn't. Didn't leave. You know. I'm. I'm like this. Um. I'm like this. Uh, sometimes. Yeah. So that you all can say because sometimes um, when 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 you've been in a, in a stream and something and you and, and so that you guys can say goodbye to each other and stuff, give yourself a hug and and everything. You know? So, 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 so. And of course, just one more thing. If you wanna, if you have suggestions on what I can cover in the future, if, if, if you want something, if you want me to cover something, if, if you come across something interesting and so on, uh, feel free to, um, to hook me up. Leave a comment in, uh, in one of my videos or, or here in the stream or, um, use the comment section or the, the how, how is this called on patreon it's not the comment section it's the um uh, community tab on patreon um uh, yeah, as far as your patrons of mine and you can co community over there check out the discord server on the community tab of my channel page check out the video of the week very nice card magic slide of hand work by richard bellos video in the info cards oh so here comes louis peterson louis peterson i'm just i'm just um leaving i'm just going right now we're done here i've did it and you know i had to i had to uh, shorten this format here due to technical issues um honey badger strength said have a great week um uh thank you thank you you too so um uh, louis peterson i'm very sorry so um thank you for tuning in um thank you also for your support um enjoy watching this uh, from uh, from 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 scratch uh, as, as if it was live almost you know <laughs> um, it was a great it was a great session with re really great material here in the in the road road to card magic and um, yeah should I do this if we do this more crisp should I do it later should should we switch from eight to nine maybe this is something we could um, we could figure out here because um, as, as I see uh, uh, Louis Peterson is, is is tuning in later. Is it better for you at nine? Is it, would do, would you guys mind? Doesn't matter for you. Great. Great, great, great.
So nobody cares about the time anymore. We all said goodbye to each other. I'm not going to repeat this thing. You know the drill. Thank you so much for tuning in. I had a blessed of time. We're doing this coming week, uh, same time, same place. Um, okay, Louis, eight is fine, so we stay with eight. Um, uh, never change the running system. Um, uh, have to mom, have to mom. Guys, that was chapter, wait, which chapter is this actually? Chapter, that was chapter, uh, chapter, chapter, chapter five, six, eight. Chapter 8 of the Royal Road to Card Magic, the back slip. There you go, guys. The back slip. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great watch, Louis. And the rest of you, have a blast of a week. Have an awesome weekend. And yeah, by the way, if the uh, if the algorithm should suggest these short tutorials, these high paced tutorials, you can really help me out if you just click on them. If you watch them to the end, it's only t two minutes, and um, uh, and give it a like then, um, then then you know to to get the algorithm going. And this might also be beneficial for you because these uh, I I, these, I I I shut them in a way so that the keynotes are really highlighted. So this is just what you really have to get right to get this moved down in a very short period of time. Uh, so this might you know kind of you know to refresh your memories on, on on what to what what to keep in mind when you do the over and shuffle or the Hindu shuffle or whatever whatever technique um, I'm covering. Okay, I'm done now. Thank you so much, guys. See you around. Sleep tight, keep on practicing well, and it will come to you. Odd Mario's, Odd Mario's Magic. Magic.